Uh, as a national housing, we are the government uh, contractor provider of affordable housing, large scale uh, organized living environments, and um, we are mandated to supply quality affordable housing to the Ugandans. We are a 60 year old institution, the leading construction, uh, government construction company in Uganda and real estate company in Uganda. Uh, our mandate is to reduce the 2.4 million current housing deficit, uh, wherein annual production or supply of housing is at 60,000 units. So we have a critical role, there are opportunities under real estate, mass affordable housing. We have clustered these housing requirements into commercial housing, which requires approximately $250 million for us to be able to produce at least 100,000 housing units per annum. There is also a need in institutional housing. Government bodies across the country Cooperation that you've been talking about from the morning up to date, up to now, sorry, all leads into urbanization. Urbanization moves with housing. But all this, no one has been talking about how to address this housing. So we moved into institutional housing, where we look at institutions that employ 1,000 and beyond employees. How do we pattern with them? Provide land, providing housing related infrastructure housing related uh, designs and uh, consultancies that requires approximately a hundred million dollars uh, in the next five years. We've been talking about industrialization since morning. The warehousing is another space that we have uh, some room to play in. And as national housing alone, we are looking at 20,000 square meters of uh, we are housing uh, space, but there's also commercial space. When we talk about housing and echoing what the minister said, we have a very young population that is growing at approximately 3.5% per annum. And the housing that is currently being uh, provided in Uganda is looking at the middle high income ranges. There is a big mass market which is the below 35 years that has not been served at all. So then there is also a bigger population. If you go down and break down the statistics, there is that population between the 19 to the 26 who are university or school going students. So there are mass opportunities in student accommodation and student accommodation alone with the studies we have done as national housing requires a $340 million. Universities, uh, we have 12 universities in the country that are government universities. Of these 12 universities, they are regionally spread across the country. Uh, annual intake is approximately 110,000 university students per annum, but only 10% is accommodated. So the balance of 90% not yet accommodated. And our estimated requirement, again, in the medium term, we're looking at $340 million for the total of government institutions without looking at the private institutions. Thank you. Uh, other opportunities lie in slab upgrade regeneration. As national housing, we have over 350 acres that is currently encroached on. We can't chase these brothers and sisters of ours, but the only thing we can do is seek partnerships in SRAM regeneration, uh, upgrade, and approximately we are looking for the initial start, reorganization and master planning, around another 250 million Uganda shillings. I'm sorry, billion, uh, million dollars. That Thank said. You. Thank you. I, I want to come back to this. You, you set, you've set a good scene for the, the next three people, and then we'll come back later. Okay. I wanted now to go to Engineer Luimbazi. Uh, 
Uh, my last remarks um, a rallying call to potential investors, uh, partners in this room, that whatever challenge is being discussed here, somehow, somewhere ends in housing. The challenge of labor, the challenge of employment will be addressed majorly in housing and real estate. Real estate in Uganda is scalable. Apart from the four walls in housing, we have value chain opportunities in waste management, uh, gas provision, and the business is scalable. So I call upon all partners, we are a virgin, young and growing population that has a lot of opportunities in housing, but majorly faced with the challenge in technology and funding. I call upon those post potentials that we can meet out there. We have a stall and we talk one on one. Thank you. Tejech is my name. I'm the Deputy Chief Executive Officer, Finance and Administration, National Housing Uganda. Uh, we are here at this dub supermarket that constitutes much of our segment customers in uh, housing. Over the years, we have been giving you quality, durable products with assurance and generational products. We bring you Bugorobi Apartments. Uh, which is uh, 100 housing units uh, ranging from a two bedroom to a four bedroom and a penthouse. We give you discounted rates starting as low as 20% deposit and we move with you the journey of construction and deposits. The second in our offers to you is our high end organized well living environment that is mixed with commercial aspects of the development in the Naria Pride project. This is a growing uh, estate. Currently, we are delivering 132, but we shall grow to 506 within the next four years. We have developed already, and one block of over 40 units is currently on the market, but by December, we should be having the rest of the apartments coming on board. Uh, other business, and having served so much into the real estate, we are trying to sensitize the public about the norms of good housing estates, public living, communal living, good land use, but also sensitize the market about the whole value chain of housing. So we are moving away from family homes only and starting into student accommodation as well as institutional housing. We are in two partnerships with most of the government universities to do PPPs for student accommodation. We have also gone along the value chain of housing. We are looking for PPPs in waste management, value chain addition, gas, piped gas and metered gas to our housing estates, construction equipment, construction technology, and we bring the message to the diaspora and the investors that national housing or housing is the answer to all the challenges that the economy is currently facing. With good housing, we are able to take upon and address the challenges of unemployed youth. Housing can take on skilled and non-skilled labor. Uh, that is a challenge to our market. We're looking to work with uh, artisans in steel uh, and uh, welding, metalworks. We are looking to work with glass. We are looking to work with uh, quarries and uh, stone quarries and sand quarries. So as a national housing, we want to offer and reach out to the greater market, but offer you a product that is organized. We offer you services that are generational, and we believe that with us, you are able to transform your lives, but also that of the nation. We call upon investors, we call upon customers to come to National Housing for a durable lifespan project. Thank you.
Tanem. Lillian. Nice to meet you, Lillian. Nice I'm Shamila. Nice to meet you, Shamila. Thank you. Yeah. So, what's this about? Uh, I work with National Housing, National Housing Constructs and uh, Sales Houses. So, we have different products that I will sell that I can take you through. We have products that are in um, Nalia and uh, Mbarara, which is up country, and Namumona. Namumona. And some of them are apartments, others are standalone houses. So what does it take for someone to come to you guys and to build their own apartments? How do you go about it? Well, we do everything for you. We build for you and give you your keys. So all you have to do is come in, we negotiate on uh, amounts, then we do the need for you. Just build and hand over the house All as right. good as me. Yeah. So what's the beginning price for someone who wants to start to work with you? Like the range, what are the ranges? Well, for any product that we have, a customer has to pay 20% of the purchase price. Then we, then the rest of the money is paid in first installments over a period of three years. All right. So once you are done, like constructing and everything, yeah. do you guys still check up on the property or you just hand it over to the person? We check up on the pro property. We we've, we've copied a model, uh, the, uh, which is a condominium, which is applying in most of the most of the countries. So right now, once we sell the property, we actually don't completely hand over the property. We stay with the stake in the property, and then we help the residents manage the property. But not only that, sometimes customers don't have a certain amount of money, so you can pay 50% of the purchase price, and then you pay the other 50% over a period of time in installments, which we call rent to pay. Right. Yep. So what's the security like in these places? Uh, because I'm seeing Nalia, Barara, then Imperial Housing yep. Estate, Nam Mona. Yes. So what's the security like? The security is very good. Uh, we usually hire um, the security guards, but we also have CCTV cameras within the estate, and we are trying to make the estate smart as well. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. So can I have your contact yes. number and details? Yeah. This is my card. Lillian, you can score, you can scan it yeah. to get the QR code to get my that and then this is the product portfolio and you can still scan the product portfolio. All right, thank you so much Lillian. Thank you, thank it you so nice much. To have I a hope you, you will be able to buy property. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, here in the diaspora market to sell our products in real estate and uh, housing. We bring you products uh, in Bugorobi housing estate at discount rates uh, starting with the 20% deposit and you grow across the board uh, up to 100%. We promise you that in a two year period we should be able to give you your products quality, serviced, gassed, uh, gas with gas housing, uh, piped gas to the houses. We have Naria Pride Estates that is currently under construction. We also bring it on to the diaspora market. You are one of the biggest markets that we have in Uganda. We give quality, we give assurance, we give guarantee and after, our, uh, after sales services. Uh, as national housing, we are getting out of the residential and expanding our business into other real estate businesses, one of them being institutional housing for large estates, for large institutions, uh, government MDAs. We are also moving into student accommodation to take our products, our products far away from uh, the market that has not been serviced for long and trying to sensitize the market about good living make it uh, an imprint within our culture, starting from university level until family life that you can have quality housing with national housing. 
We have business opportunities uh, in waste management. Uh, we have business opportunities in um, and, uh, in in in, in, uh, in uh, uh, 